I warned you a long time ago, Elizabeth, not to name this ministry after a man or a woman. Even before there was a ministry, I put it in your spirit, for none of this has been done by your hands. None of this has come forth from your mouth. It is from the mouth of Yahweh that has given birth. It is from the mouth of Yahushua, your Mashiach, that has been given birth. It is from the mouth of the Rekakadash Yimayah that has been given birth. If it had only been by your hands, it would have failed long ago. It is by the Shekinah of glory's wind that blows across this earth. The holy wind of revival. It is not by your breath or it would have failed. Second Chronicles 36.16 But they mocked the messengers of Yah and despised his words and scoffed at his prophets until the wrath of Yahweh rose against his people until there was no remedy. Beware of touching Yah's true prophets and doing them harm. This salvation prayer was given by Yahweh, Yahushua, and the precious Ruach HaKodesh to Apostle Elisheva Eliyahu 25 years ago. This emotional prayer has never been redone until now. Especially if you are not saved yet and haven't given your life to Yahushua or if you have backslidden into sin. We urge you, and more than urge you, to say this salvation prayer together with her. If necessary, listen to it several times and get this prayer into your spirit. And again, repeat it with Elisha Veliyahu with all of your heart and with all of your soul. And get saved, because tomorrow could be too late. Get saved and give your life to Yahushua HaMashiach right now. Dearest beloved Yahushua HaMashiach, I give my life to you now. I ask that you live through me. I ask that you create in me a pure heart. Psalm 51. I accept you, Yahushua HaMashiach, now as a ruler of my life, and my Messiah and Savior. You are the God that I worship and love. I need and I want and I desire. Forgive me for my sins, for I know all have sinned and fell short of the glory of our creators. Forgive me, Yahushua. Wash me clean. Wash me clean. I confess my sins before you now. I lay them at the foot of the cross of Calvary, where you were crucified and tortured and where you died in three hours. Later you said it is finished. And yet you didn't stay dead on the third day. You did arise before witnesses. And for 40 days you walked this earth until you ascended back to heaven before witnesses. Yeshua HaMashiach, whom some called Jesus Christ, I declare your Hebrew name now before the great tribulation comes. The name is used as a curse word when they say Jesus Christ. And they do not dare to say that as a curse word of Muhammad or, or Allah or Buddha or even Satan, but they curse the name above all names. One of the parts of the Holy Trinity, for you are the only begotten son of Abba Yahweh and the Ruach HaKadosh. And you are the Holy Trinity, and there is no other. You are the co-creators. You are the word that was made flesh. Oh, Yahushua, forgive me. Yahushua HaMashiach, the Messiah. Above that cross hung the words, King of Israel, and they couldn't take it down because you are coming back again to rule and reign. And oh, Yahushua, the bride of Yahushua, say, Come, Yahushua, come. But not everyone is fit to be the bride of Yahushua. And so you say in the book of Revelation, blessed are all who are invited to the marriage supper of the Lamb. Oh, Yahushua HaMashiach. 
forgive me of my sins. Wash me, wash me clean with the only pure, holy blood sacrifice. When you walked this earth for 33 years, you never had a thought of sin. You never had an action of sin. Although you were tempted with every sin, you told the devil to get lost. He had no claim on you. And he will have no claim on me after I say the salvation prayer. Oh, Yeshua HaMashiach, I believe you paid the price for my sins. At Calvary, you were crucified. You were tortured. You were mocked. You were spit upon. Your clothes were, were stripped off of you. A soldiers gambled, even for the clothes on your back. O oh, Yeshua HaMashiach, forgive me and put your Ruach HaKadosh, the Holy Spirit, within me. So let me know when I do right and wrong. Send the Comforter. Let the Comforter come in me now. For I know you are not dead, but you arose again on that third day as that big boulder was rolled away that the soldiers had placed there and guarded. But that did not stop you on that third day. The boulder rolled away. I ask you to come into my heart. To forgive me of my sins. I confess every sin to you now and I name them. And I turn away from them. Because I've been washed clean of all the unrighteousness. All the filthiness of this world. I give my life and my love to you. I will not deny you. Oh, Yeshua HaMashiach, you said if there had only been one, if there had only been me who would cry out for mercy, you would forgive, and the sins would be as far as the east is from the west. You said there's only one sin that could not be forgiven, and that is a blasphemy of the Ruach HaKadosh, the sweet Holy Spirit. Oh, beloved Yahushua, I would not be saying this prayer now if I was someone who was of blasphemy unless it was of mockery. And I do not mock. I truly believe with all of my heart and I will not doubt there is but one truth and way and life to get to heaven. There is only one intercessor, only one name, that Abba Yahweh, the Holy Father, will even listen to a prayer. And that's through your name, Yahushua HaMashiach. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I have sinned against you so greatly. But I rise up. I'm not staying fallen. And I rise up. And I come to you. And I hang on tight to the cross at Calvary where you died for me and where you said it was finished. I turn away from every sin. I rebuke Satan and all those who are part of him. I rebuke the unholiness in the name and the blood of Yeshua HaMashiach shall constantly be on my lips and I shall study and show myself approved and I shall read the New Testament. I shall read and I shall know you are the Torah from the law, from the beginning to the end, from Genesis to Revelation. I thank you now for filling me with your Holy Spirit, the Ruach HaKadosh, the Imayah. Sweet, sweet Chikanya glory, the very presence of Yahweh. And thank you for giving me the desire to serve you all the days of my life. And thank you for giving me the desire to live your life in me. 
Oh, Yahushua, live your life through me. I give your, my life and my soul to you. My mind and my body belongs to you. I'm so grateful. I have a Messiah. There is a blood sacrifice for, as it is written, with, out, without the shedding of blood, there is no remission, no forgiveness for sin. And the blood of the animals of the, that were sacrificed in the Old Testament and the old blood covenant would not satisfy Abba Yahweh anymore for the sin was so great. He had to send his only begotten son to whomsoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Thank you for filling me with faith to believe and never doubt. Oh, let your name be glorified through these lips and everything I do from now on. Show me how I can serve you. Show me how I can glorify you. Show me how I can exalt you. Thank you for freeing me from every addiction. Thank you for freeing me from every sin. And although I won't be perfect, thank you. Thank you that I'm able to say and reach out to you again and say, Yo, sure, I've fallen. Please forgive me. But I will not premeditate sin. I will not hurt you like that purposely. Thank you for giving me the desire to read the Bible, especially everything about you. Thank you for helping me to understand what Elishavel Yahu is teaching as a Messianic Jew. She's teaching the Hebrew roots of the biblical scriptures and the Torah is from Genesis to Revelation. Your name is there. If they only knew Hebrew, they would see. As you told Elishavel Yahu, you taught her that the Torah, the Old Testament, was only a foreshadowing of when you would come. You would have a better plan. Moses did what he was to do, for at that time it was not yet for you to be born. But even the blood that was over the doorpost of that sacrificial lamb was a foreshadow of you, Yahushua HaMashiach, when your blood would save and the angel of death would be forced not to touch those inside. And the curses could not come upon them, for they truly worshipped Abba Yahweh. Thank you for giving me the wisdom to understand the holy scriptures and the holy prophecies that you have spoken forth through a mighty wind ministry. Thank you for loving me and saving my soul. You said if it had only been me, you would have went to the cross at Calvary. You would have been tortured. You would have been beaten. And by your stripes, you said I was healed. You did not stop at your salvation. But you allowed Satan to go into the torturer that beat you 39 times with a no ordinary whip. But a whip with bits of lead and stone and anything that could rip and tear your, your skin in shreds till you barely even looked human and then forced you to carry hundreds of pounds of a cross up the hill of Golgotha Oh, Yahushua, help my faith to grow each day, oh, Yahushua, Mashiach, so one day I will be with you in heaven and you will embrace me and cover me in kisses. I will be at the marriage supper of the Lamb. I will not deny you even when it comes to the fact that they say you have to lay your life down. 
like they will demand for people to become martyrs. And only the bride of Yahushua HaMashiach will have a testimony as unto Enoch. So help me to be strong in you. Fill me overflowing with the Ruach HaKadosh Holy Spirit now and deliver me from the evil one called Satan. In your name, Yeshua HaMashiach, let the demons flee now in seven different directions. As I belong to you, Yeshua HaMashiach, as I say this prayer, and I pray it, and I will continue to pray it each and every day until it gets in my spirit and my soul and my mind and my body. Oh, Yahushua, help me. Yahushua, to remember all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of the Father, Yahweh. You came to save us sinners. And that's why you're called our Savior, our Mashiach. You are the one and the only way to heaven. Your name is salvation. Yah saves. It is not Yeshua. That takes away the divinity of your name. You're named after the Father. And the Father's name is in your name. This is what I've been taught to stay. Help me, O Yahushua HaMashiach. Though none go with me, still I will follow. Help me, Yahushua HaMashiach, for I know I will be persecuted for your name's sake. Help me, Yahushua HaMashiach. I will never give up my faith in who you are. This day I am born again. I am blood washed. I am blood bought. My soul is not for sale. I belong to you, Yeshua HaMashiach. And because of it, I can now say to Satan, as it is written, submit yourself unto the name of Yeshua HaMashiach and then resist the devil and he shall flee from me. And submit means I will obey you. I will obey the Ten Commandments. I will obey the holy feast that Abba Yahweh has set in place to bring honor to the Holy Trinity. Abba Yahweh, Yerusha Mashiach, and the Ruach HaKadosh, sweet Holy Spirit. I will honor the Shabbat day and I will keep it holy. And it is not the lie of a Sunday. Help me, Heavenly Father, to defend the truths of Almighty Wind Ministry and the truths and the prophecies. Let me not turn into a reprobate enemy. Oh, Yahushua HaMashiach, I worship, I praise, I love, and I adore you. Thank you for coming into my heart. By faith, I believe every addiction has fleed from me. Every temptation to sin right now is gone and when I am tempted remind me to call upon the name of Yeshua HaMashiach I worship you oh Abba Yahweh I've come now to the name of Yeshua HaMashiach and I come before your throne and I ask for your help for Yahushua has told me that before none could come to you and have a prayer answered unless it's through the name and the blood of Yahushua HaMashiach. I will read this prayer and I will hear this prayer for it was spoken underneath the anointing and Elishava Eliyahu did not even know one word from the next what she would speak for you put the new prayer in her mouth for even the old prayer has passed away and become new and I will say it not 
with the head knowledge, but with all of my heart, I believe it in faith, and I will remember that Yahushua HaMashiach is not only my God and my Lord and the soon coming King of Israel and the only begotten Son of Yahweh. He is my Messiah. He is my healer, my deliverer, my resurrector. And he is my best friend who will never leave me nor forsake me. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for he is with me. I hang on to Psalm 91, and I hang on to Psalm 23. For I know, Yushua HaMashiach, you love me so much. You love me so much, you led me to where this prayer is. You love me just the way I am. You love me so much that you said, now I will make you better. Now I will raise up in you the true spirit within you so that I can say that you are pleasing unto me and no longer call you a worker of sin. Yahushua, you paid the price for my sins. And now I don't need to feel guilty or condemned anymore. For I have confessed every filthy sin before you, Yahushua HaMashiach. I have named them and I have cried tears over them. And I have told you that I am so sorry. And you have said, my child, I forgive you. Now you must have faith, and faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not yet seen. And even if I don't hear your voice like Prophet Elishavel Yahu, I know that you hear me. I know that you see me. I know that I am a child of Abba Yahweh. You, Yahushua HaMashiach, and you, precious Ruach HaKadosh, Holy Spirit, Imaya. All of my sins are now forgiven. And there's a no fishing sign there. The only one that can go there is if I choose to remember my past sins and feel dirty about them all over again. Or if I choose to allow Satan to go fishing there and say, remember what you used to be and do. And that's when you have told me, Yahushua, that I am to tell Satan, I am forgiven. My soul belongs to Yushua HaMashiach. And as he reminds me of the past, I will remind him of the future, and that is a bottomless pit for eternity and a lake of fire. I now know that a sin is anything that I have done that displeases a holy Abba Yahweh, and you, Yahushua, and you, Ruach HaKadosh, I know that we all work out our own salvation with fear and trembling and whatever was done in the war in heaven against Lucifer, the war has been brought down here on this earth. And I will fight him. I will fight Satan and all of the unholy ones with him and all of the reprobates. I will fight them. Not in my strength, not in my might, but in the anointing of the Ruach HaKodesh. I will get to know who you are, Yushua Mashiach. For John 3.16, the Bible tells me that I must confess you as my ruler of my life, my Lord, my Savior, my Messiah. So you will confess me before the Holy Father, Abba Yahweh. I must remember never to be ashamed of the name of Yushua HaMashiach. Never be ashamed of the truths and the revelations I will be taught. For Yahushua HaMashiach is not ashamed of me. I will tell someone that I can trust. That today I have made the decision of my life. This is my birthday. The day I say this prayer. 
with all of my mind, with all of my heart, my body and my soul, and my soul belongs to Yeshua. I accepted you, Yahushua, of Calvary and Nazareth, born in Bethlehem, both God in the spirit and both God in the flesh. But it was flesh and spirit that hung on the cross at Calvary. And this day I know that all the angels in heaven are rejoicing. They are rejoicing and they're singing with joy. And if no one ever rejoices over me on this earth, if I feel no one ever loves me or accepts me for who I am, I know that you rejoice and I know that all the angels rejoice for this is what the Bible says. And I know this apostle prophet Pastor Elisheva Eliyahu rejoices over me right now. And she has said, if I need a pastor, then I have one. And I know I am welcomed by a mighty wind that come online ministry that is in 51 different languages around this world that call upon you. We are not alone. And they all tell me that I am welcome. And they all wait for me to write Elisheva Eliyahu and tell her, I've accepted you, Yahushua HaMashiach. And even though I was an Orthodox Jew, and I speak now to those who will be Orthodox Jews, they too are welcome to come to Yahushua HaMashiach the way I've come to you this day. And oh, I look forward, Yahushua HaMashiach, for you embracing me and hugging me so tight and kissing my cheeks. I look forward at the marriage supper of the Lamb. Whether I be a bride or a guest, I will dance the Jewish dance with you. Oh, Yahushua, thank you for forgiving me. I feel so clean now. Thank you, Yahushua HaMashiach. Help me to grow quickly in you. Help me, give me more discernment. There's so many false prophets out there, so many who claim to be Christians, and yet they're lukewarm that you're going to spit out of your mouth, vomit out of your mouth, as the book of Revelation says. Oh, Yahushua HaMashiach, bring another believer to me so I will not walk this walk alone, but if I must, so be it. For I don't walk alone, I walk with you, my new best friend, my Messiah, my Lord God, my Savior. I have you, Yahushua HaMashiach. Thank you for the gift of eternal life that I just inherited this day. To know my name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Please keep it there and never let it be blotted out, is my prayer. And take not the Ruach HaKadosh Holy Spirit from me. Instead, of increase the anointing within me. This is my prayer. I ask this day, on my true birthday, I said this salvation prayer. In Yahushua HaMashiach's name, I know that I will be hated more in this world than I am loved. Just like if you were walking this earth right now, they would hate you for your holiness. Thank you, Yahushua HaMashiach. For I know when Satan hates me and the demons and the reprobates hate me and they call me crazy, I know I truly belong to you, Shua HaMashiach, and I have been born again this day. Blood washed and blood bought, and my soul is no longer mine, but in your hand, Yahushua HaMashiach. Amen.
We're not gonna run, we're not gonna hide Yoshua's coming back for his bride We're YDS, we're standing strong This is our song The enemy said in three days she'll die But Ali Sheva Aliyahu's alive She's a YDS, still standing strong This is her song May 24, 2005 Archangel Michael fought to get to her side Fighting off the enemy He protects the bride His wing hanging over her bedside Like an innocent two-year-old child She touched his wing Marveling at the beautiful sight The Judases will run and hide Reprobate enemies rejected, denied Jeremiah 6, 27 to 30 Is your eternal life No pride in Yoshua HaMashiach's pride Wanna be like Enoch raptured into the sky He was pleasing to Abba Yahweh He went to heaven alive we're not gonna run, we're not gonna hide Yoshua's coming back for his bride We're YDS, we're standing strong This is our song The enemy said in three days she'll die But Ali Sheva Aliyahu's alive She's a YDS, still standing strong This is our song We're not gonna run, we're not gonna hide Yoshua's coming back for his bride, we're YDS, we're standing strong, this is our song.